our model is completely done. Um, you can see that my model is um, a little bit different because I went over and I modified um, some of the vert vertices. I added I added some more edge loops and um, modified it a, a little bit so that it looks more as the reference image. So it was just adding some more edge loops and um, scaling in and out so I can get the same form. And that's about it. Also, I created the chimney using the same techniques that we've been using for everything. This one was a cube and I just extruded up, extruded in, extruded up, extruded in, and then the same thing um, to make the hole. All I did was if you grab a cube and increase the size on it, if you grab the top face, um, shift right click extrude and then you extrude in if you press extrude again G you can just extrude down and you can create that hole so that's how I created that so it's not not a big not a big deal um mostly it is the same techniques that I've been using um I forgot that I had the other screen so I'll repeat the process all I want I did here was grab the cube, extrude it up, in, up, and then in, and then it, for the hole, all I did was I grabbed the cube, increased it, and for the top part, extrude, and then extrude it in, and then press G to repeat command and extrude it down. And I created that. Oh, you see in the top and that's basically it for that one so now that we have this we're gonna extract all the pieces that we're gonna need um uv since this is a modular piece we're just gonna need one of each of the main pieces and um we'll group them together since they're all grouped um because i what I did was I grabbed all the, the parts that I wanted in one group. And if you grab a couple of them, like let's say you click on this one, shift, click on couple, it's going to select multiple. And then if you press control G, it'll group them together. And then you can just double click and rename the group. And that's what I did here. I divided everything into groups and then renamed all the parts. Um, but now we want a UV. So we'll grab just one piece of each. So the door, we know that it's coming. The door is coming completely. So once you shift in the world, shift um, and click on the assets, is just going to select them in a group and to extract them out of the group I would just shift P and it will extract them out of the group so we know these are coming this wall is coming this wall is coming and again I'm just pressing shift P this one we just need one because when we do one we can transfer the UVs to the other or um, since we're doing modular pieces, we're just going to export this one into the engine and duplicate it in the engine. Then this one goes one of these. And then from the logs, the same thing, one of this, one of this. And the top walls are the same. We just need to texture swap. Then uh we have one of these supporting pillars we have one of the side ones we have one of the lower ones and then we have one of these the roof the arc and the other arc then we have the chimney and we have this part Right here 
So these are all the parts that need you being the rest. We don't need them. Um, since we all we can basically duplicate them in the engine. So what I'll do is I'll hide the lodge and we'll stay with all of these out. Now you can see that we have all our modular pieces. So all I want to do now is grab everything and all the translate and transform uh translation and rotation make them zero and then bring the other ones back into zero so let's go to the view get one of these press x to snap the grid and we'll snap it to zero and then we'll do it one by one so what I'll do is I'll hide everything and bring back the door. The door is zero, 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 and all its transforms are zeroed out. So that's fine. The arc, same thing, fine. Stone arc, same thing, fine. Then the wall, that one is, is good. The other wall. It needs to come to zero 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 so what we want to do is we'll snap it you press h oh no sorry not h come back to the viewport to the view and then since it has transforms we go modify free transformation now that's fine then we can hide it with h and bring back this one then for this one i want the pivot down here and then click on the pivot bring it down and then i'll bring it back so bring it here and bring it here and press d back again to get out of it and bring it back into zero um, snap it and we go to the to the side views and then we can see that the pivot is not in the middle so to make it in the middle put it in the middle i want to let's do modify center pivot it'll bring it up but it'll put it right in the middle and then we press d click on the Y axis and I'll align to the bottom. And then press X to snap. Now that it's completely zero, zero, zero. Oh, we need to bring it back as well. So press D, line, then press Shift and click on the edge, bring it to the back. And that's where I want it. Now, since it has transforms, Again, modify free transformation. That one is done. You're going to the next one. Bring this one to the back. X. D. And then going to the side views. And snap it to zero zero zero. We can check all the views to they're perfectly in zero 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 or origin. Same thing, free transformation done. Next one, this one, I'll bring pivot down and rotate it up because I don't want this in this rotation we want it standing up and then come into the side views and see that on this view it's not aligned so bring it back into the center and now 
Free transformation, modify free transformation. And that's that. H and bring the wall. The wall is fine. The other wall is fine. The support beam. We want the support beam. We we'll modify center pivot and then bring bring it back to the middle and free transformation same one this one looks like it's at zero 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 let me double check yep 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 so that one is done next port beam same thing it's at the origin other support beam same thing origin and the roof the roof needs to come down so for the roof i want the pivot to be aligned with the y axis with the bottom and it really doesn't matter right now it's in the center of the mesh so that's fine so all I want to do is come into the views and align it with, with the origin. So that's aligned. And now side view and bring it down. Now this one is ready for free, free transformation. Then the arc arc needs to come down and every time I'm moving things I'm pressing X so that I can snap to the grid now we transformation hide and bring this one back bring it down go into the side view and you see the pivot is off press D y bring it down and then i'll center pivot so that the pivot on this one is right in the middle of the mesh so modify center pivot and bring the pivot back down and that's pretty good now we just have to snap it to the grid take a look perfect Modify center pivot, not center pivot. Modify free transformation. And I'll grab the chimney. And the chimney is off. So modify center pivot and bring the pivot down. And then snap it to the grid. And this is important because when you're doing UVs and you have transformation in it. The UVs do not come out right. It cut they even all these do not work when you you have different transformation and different scales. It basically modifies any UV algorithm that you're trying to apply to your mesh. So it breaks it. So that's why in everything it's important to modify free transformation. So sometimes when you're doing UVs and you see that the UVs are not coming out as you expect is because or you have transformations or the mesh has something wacky going on with it. But for the most part is because you have transformation or, or scale values on your mesh. And that's that one. And then we come to the this piece. And this piece, I'll do the same thing. Center pivot. And then I'll check that it's in the middle. The other views, they look fine. So now, final center pivot. Um, free transformation. Now that we have this, we can save our scene and start you being everything.